Okay, we have all of my stuff ready for filming. This big hamper is everything for one video that I'm filming. Macy's rolling around. Good morning, Macy. Oh my god, you're so cute. Um, this bin over here is another one for filming that actually I'm going to talk about in this video in a moment. So I have to bring both of these over to my mom's for filming. And hi. I have this big tote bag with all my like work stuff. That we're bringing over and I'm currently just wearing this little outfit biker shorts and sports bra set Macy is ready to go Macy's ready to see grandma <laughs> she does not mess around when I say we're going to see grandma so we better get going okay we are in the car we are ready to go to grandma's this girl is losing her mind I love you she is all in her car seat ready to go, but we are going to my mom's house. She lives in the same city as me and she is my momager. She is Kris Jenner 2.0. Yeah, she is like a lot. She does a lot for me with my business and YouTube and everything. And actually literally last night, I just set up a new like filming setup at her house in her garage. Her garage is now my office. Um. And we're gonna test that out today. Today is the first day that I'm going to be filming in that new space. I'm really, really excited about that. So we have everything loaded into the car. I have my bins and there's more stuff in the trunk, but everything's loaded into the car for filming today. And yeah, I'm really excited to go try filming over there because she has studio lights and I think it's just gonna look really, really good. Okay, let me like set this down. Okay, the lighting's like really crazy right now, but I wanted to say hello, intro this vlog, good morning. I just got ready, as you can see. I just did my hair, makeup, whatever. I didn't really put on an outfit since I'm filming. I changed 27 million times. But welcome to this day in the life with me. I am a YouTuber, content creator, I do Instagram a little bit, all of that good stuff, mainly YouTube. And yeah, that is my full-time job. I'm also in college. I'm a senior marketing student right now. So days in the life for me are like totally 50-50. Personally, I really like to split up my days and like on one day I'll fully, fully focus on YouTube content creating work type of stuff and then another day I'll only focus on school I won't like really do much for YouTube so I break up my days depending on if it's a YouTube filming type of day or if it's a school day homework day classes day and yeah so this is going to be a day in the life of my influencing type of days if you guys want to see a day in the life of one of my school classes days I can also do another one of those because those days look completely completely different than these type of YouTube filming days they're just like two different worlds for me but yeah we're about to head over to my mom's right now Macy's so excited to go see grandma so we're gonna go drive over there and we'll see you in a minute okay jumping in here to give you guys a quick little urban outfitters haul so the first thing that I grabbed is this flannel jacket this is so cute it's I think it's a men's flannel but it's more of a jacket style because it's lined it's like really nice and thick and oh my gosh this is like the perfect little fall jacket i grabbed a little crew neck i love picking up crew necks from urban this one is a cozy little bit of an oversized style it says colorado springs on the front it is embroidered this looks so nice and the sweatshirt is a really cute cream color and it has brown embroidery. I love the neutrals in the fall. But it's a comfy little crew neck. It's so cute and so cozy. This one is fleece lined and I'm absolutely loving this. Sweatshirts and crew necks like this are my go-to in the fall. Next is this little sports bra. 
This is so comfy cozy, oh my gosh. It's like the silkiest material, such a good little sports bra. It does have adjustable straps. It's a double lined, super silky material. Oh my gosh, this is such a go-to for lounging. I'm like never gonna take this off. And I grabbed these cozy brown ribbed pants. These are so cute. I am loving these. They're such a lounge essential. I love the little flare at the bottom. They're ribbed. They're so soft and cozy. They have these like cute little buttons right here. I can't believe how soft these are. I'm just obsessed. Oh my gosh, guys. These are like a must. I love the little flare at the bottom. They're super cute and so cozy. I grabbed literally the coolest jeans ever. Are you guys ready for these? Check these out. How stinking cute are these big jeans? They have cuffs at the bottom. They have rips in the knees. They're high-waisted. I'm literally, oh my gosh. I love Urban Outfitter jeans, but these, like, are you kidding me? I've been really obsessed with dad hats lately, so I grabbed this one. If you guys are following me on Insta, you've already seen this all over the place because I think it is so cute, but it's a little beige hat. And I picked up this greenish one. It has little tennis rackets on it. I think it says country club. I can't read it when it's on my head. I think it says country club. But this one is also super, super cute. And this green color is really trendy for the fall like my favorite color ever so i think this one is adorable i got this it is a little checkered fuzzy tote bag um this is like my whole fall vibe and aesthetic right here this is so cool it is like the softest thing ever also by the way and i grabbed this dress hold please this is so cute i i can't like Oh my gosh, look at this. So it has a little tie front. It's off the shoulder or you could probably wear it. Yeah, you could totally wear it on the shoulder as well. Or it can be off the shoulder. It's super stretchy elastic right here. And it has big sleeves. I love the big sleeve look. And guys, the back is all a, what do you call this? I think it's called sheared type. So it's all elastic and stretchy, which the whole entire back is elastic and stretchy. So it form fits you perfectly like this this is so flattering oh my gosh this is so cute it's so comfy because the entire back is elastic and stretchy like i can't even believe how comfy this dress is and flattering at the same time okay the last thing that i grabbed from urban is not clothing actually it is my new hair blowout brush i think is what it's called I'll pop up a picture of it and then I'll also insert a clip from this morning. Actually, I used it when I was getting ready. I use it every single time after I shower and this is so much better than a blow dryer. Wow. So it's like a blowout brush. It gives you more volume, but the best thing about it for me is it makes my frizz like non-existent. I don't know how. And it's also way better than a blow dryer because I personally like to let my hair air dry as much as possible, as much as I have time for. Whenever I use a blow dryer but my hair's already like half dry, I feel like it makes it so frizzy, like it's just unnecessary. But with this, you can just grab the sections that are still wet and only dry those. So it's like magic. I'm obsessed with this and I just love that on Urban, you can get so many different brands like this. You can pick up everything from clothes, home decor, beauty products, like Urban Outfitters is so cool and so killing it for that. So like all my videos, everything that I showed you guys from Urban will be linked in the description below. And I've also included the sizes that I picked up in all the clothing items in the description. And then below all the links, I have my personal measurements, typical sizing, and all that good stuff. If you want to use it for size referencing, it is all down there. So make sure to check out these cool things from Urban Outfitters. Such a good haul. I love them so much. Thank you, Urban, for sending me all these pieces. And without further ado, let's jump right back into the day in my life vlog. Okay, guys, Macy is obsessed with my mom. And she literally freaks out whenever we see her. So I just have to show you guys her reaction. And Macy sees her almost every single day. Like, just remember that, okay? When you watch how crazy she's going to be, she sees her, like, seriously every single day. Macy, do you want to go see Grandma? Do you see Grandma? Do you want to see Grandma? Macy? Grandma's here this time. Oh, my God. Come on, 
Oh my god! She's gonna pee! Oh my god, you're pissing yourself. Will you get a towel? Hi! Oh, you're so excited! Hello! Hello! Hi! Oh my god, Macy, oh, we're there. all alive! Oh my god! We're okay, alive! Ah! There she goes. Okay, we have to go run some errands. We're getting the new filming space ready. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that. I'll show it when we oh, get back. Oh, let me open the garage door. No, it doesn't look good from this side. Momager is running Mom's errands with me. eating a protein bar. But we are looking for like a flooring for it so that it doesn't like look as dirty as a garage floor. <laughs> um, yeah, so I gotta do that before I film this video today. We just have some momager errands to do. Why are they momager errands when they're your errands? Because you're going. Anything with you is momager things. <laughs> I need for the video that I'm filming today. I'm filming a like last minute Halloween costume ideas type of video today and I haven't gotten all of the pieces for the costumes yet which is honestly fitting since it's a last minute costumes video so we're also going to run to like Target or Walmart and pick up some of those last like pieces that I need to put the costumes together and then I gotta film that whole video so that's are you filming it in the new little garage studio space? I'm planning on it. If it looks good, I want to film it in there. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to try and film the try-on part in the garage because I know that looks good. I just checked the lighting in there. Um, but if it looks good to like film like the talking part in there too, then I would do that. So we're just going to have to see. Are we going to get like drop backdrops that are like look like the beach or look like Paris so it looks like you're traveling all over the place because that'd be funny <laughs> a very successful Walmart <sighs> trip. She's exhausted. I um, carried around two huge boxes. She refused and you hit me to get in a car. Face with them. I didn't mean to. Um, you did though. I think I'm a. You're so dramatic. Oh, please. <laughs> anyway, we grabbed all of our stuff at Walmart. I'll show you guys when we get there. But we did get the flooring that I wanted to get for the garage for like our filming type of space thing. So yeah, I think it's gonna work really well. So I'm excited. We picked up some Subway. We're gonna have a little lunch and then I'm gonna get the filming space set up. I also did get everything that I needed for the rest of the little costume pieces and I got them at Walmart, which is super exciting. So for this video that, actually that video is gonna be up on my channel before this video, before this day in my life vlog. So if you haven't already, watch my Halloween costumes like video. I'll have it popped up here and I'll have it in the description below. But everything in that video I either already had in my wardrobe, so like actual clothes pieces, or I ordered like I think two things off of Amazon. I grabbed like two things from Goodwill and I just picked up three things from Walmart. So super, super easy costumes, affordable costumes, and last minute too. So that's exciting. Watch that video if you haven't already, but I'm about to go film that. That's so weird that I'm telling you to watch something that I haven't filmed yet. She's unfazed by me. No. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how I'm not gonna be able to drive into the street because of all the construction going on and it's gonna annoy me so badly that I'm probably gonna go crazy and you might have to bleep some stuff out. Okay, I think we just got this filming set up all done. Look, oh my gosh, this looks really good from here. Yeah, look, come over and look at it from this way. Oh my God, this is gonna be perfect for my videos, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's gonna be gorgeous. Yeah. So these are big studio lights that we have so we can put the garage door down and still film in here. It's going to look so good. I'm actually really excited. Okay, shut the garage door and let Macy come out because she's freaking out. Yeah, Macy's having a heart attack in there. Okay, so from the other side, it's kind of a mess still. So I have all these like bins back here of clothes and racks and stuff so that that part's not done, but I'm just getting ready to film today. So I wanted to make sure this area was ready and yeah, it looks pretty good. Look you at this, I have a little, 
Oh, you don't even have those lights on. No, I don't have the lights on yet. Macy, do you like my new office? Hello, little girl. Okay, so I'm all set up and obviously ready, but I am about to film the try-on of the costumes. Can you guys tell what I'm dressed up as right now? Anyway, if you haven't seen that video already, I've probably already said it in this video, but go watch that video. It's linked down in the description if you need some Halloween costume inspiration, especially costumes that are like easy to put together with stuff you have, super affordable. You just need to buy like a few pieces. Like for this flapper costume, the only things that I bought were the headpiece and the pearl necklaces. And I think both of these together was like $6. So this is like super affordable costume, really cute and easy. But I'm about to film that costumes video. So yeah, the try on usually takes me, um, I mean, it depends on how many pieces of clothing or like what I'm doing for the try on. It can take me anywhere from an hour to two hours. It'll probably take me a little bit on the longer side, I'm assuming for this costumes video, since I have to like put on full costumes to try it on, not just like, a shirt you know these girls are like literally choking me right now anyway that's the plan that's gonna be my next few hours is filming the try on and then this filming setup like is looking really good to me i think so i'm planning on filming the rest of my video like the talking sit down type of part of the video here in the new studio after I do the try on. That's like the plan of attack. So I think that's what we're gonna do, but it looks so cute with the little plant. I just put a mirror here because I realized that I need a mirror when I'm trying stuff on. Otherwise I don't know what I look like. So yeah, that's all set up. I look like a flapper and I'm gonna film that video now. Okay, so I just finished up filming the try-on for the Halloween costume haul. That honestly took even longer than I expected. I think that took about two and a half hours. I don't know. I was like really slow doing that, I guess. And it's really hot in this garage because there's no like AC or anything. So I'm kind of like dying. I've been taking breaks to go inside into the AC a little bit. So yeah, it overall took longer than I expected, but that's why I plan full days for content and filming and like doing all this stuff because honestly more often than not it takes longer than I expect. So we're done with that. I just cleaned up the space a little bit and I just realized that I haven't posted on my Instagram story like at all today and I do try and be really active on my Instagram stories. I find that you guys like it when I'm more active and yeah I like sharing my life with you guys and like showing you what I actually do day to day on there. So. I have really have been bad with that today. I think I only posted one story this morning. So I'm gonna quick jump on there and post a little story. And then I gotta set up to film the sit down part of the Halloween video. And that's probably gonna take another 30 to 45 minutes for that. And then we're done filming for the day. So that's the only filming I have to get left, but let's get an Instagram story up. Okay, I just finished filming the Halloween video. I am so excited with how the filming setup looks out there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you guys to see While this. While mom's in here making you dinner. Mom is making dinner. Mom made Parmesan crusted tilapia, um, roasted zucchini, steamed spinach, and you get rice and I get mashed cauliflower. Macy, you Macy. good girl. Here's our dinner made by Momager herself. Macy, are you ready to go home? Oh, bye Macy. You ready to go home? Macy, come here. Macy. She's like, yeah, mom, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Right no, now. she's like, I am literally posing. Oh, oh yeah, you want the camera. Oh, okay. you want the camera. oh yeah, you want to be on camera. Oh my god, you're pretty girl. Oh, I love you. Okay, so I just got back to my apartment. This has been a long day. I'm tired from filming. 
kind of filmed like all day I feel like those costumes took a while so I need to send off some emails I have a little bit of homework to do and I'm going to load in some of the clips from today some of the Halloween video and start editing that probably hi Macy hi so I'm going to load those in and start to edit a little bit and uh, yeah see what I can do with that and homework and lay in bed doing that I'm gonna watch Gossip Girl while I do that and that is kind of going to be it for the night that I'm going to go to bed. It's already 8 o'clock, so I'm going to do that for probably two or three hours. Then probably just wind down, watch a little bit of a show, go on my phone. And that's, that's going to be my day. And then I have a lot of homework tomorrow. Tomorrow's a school day. That's what I said. But that is the plan. So let's go load that video in and start editing and homework. Okay, I worked on the video a little bit, but I am tired. Macy's crying over there. She wants to go to bed. Okay, this lighting is terrible, but that is going to be it. I'm going to wind down, get in some PJs. Macy's crying, so we definitely need to cuddle and watch Gossip Girl and go to bed. That's what we're going to do. That's everything for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Instagram, which will be linked down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. And I think that's everything. I'm so tired, guys. I love you all so, so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.